Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. Guys, remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys, green day here today. We are up $1,614.49. Not too bad. About 200 orders. So I'd say maybe about two, let's say 20 to $30 of uh, fees, which is not too bad here today. Uh, and before we jump into the technicals, remember we are running our biggest discount yet here. Code MANIFEST for 50% off MMU Gold and MMU Silver. Be sure to get tuned in. And of course, for those of you who are looking to join and looking for a free opportunity, uh, we are giving away one free course to a lucky winner, right? To a lucky trader out there. Uh, of course, you just have to be a part of the Discord community. Be subscribed to Marcelo and my uh, own YouTube channel here. And of course, publish a five-minute video on YouTube talking about your trading journey, your future dreams, goals, and aspiration when it comes to this day trading uh, business. And of course, you have to title the video, MMU Manifesting My Future, hashtag challenge. All right, guys. Now, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the stocks of the day. So we traded quite a few stocks, right? If we come back to the monitor screen, we'll see that the bigger winners, uh, and, and can we organize this here? Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the bigger winners were APM, SNTG, and PIIII, right? AKAN as well. Not too bad. Uh, so yeah, APM, let's talk about this one first. Usually I'll save the best for last, but let's talk about this one here first. I do have a quick archive. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, when it comes down to this stock, a halt resumption. All right. So let's pull it on screen. APM for some context. You know, this was a stock that went crazy in after hours yesterday, all the way from, you know, $3 up to 19. So talk about those people who love to trade after hours, right? This was an opportunity of a lifetime here to uh, get some good trades. Volume is a little lighter, of course. But, you know, those of you who are trading after hours, you guys know what's going on. You know how to handle this volume. Uh, it gives a nice front side move and then pulls back. So the short sellers even have something. And then into the open today, we're going to get a nice small pop. And so despite this entire, you know, area, and this is the power of day trading. You know, look at this crazy move here, right? This crazy move that went, you know, what was that 600%. I'm going to capitalize 900 bucks in an area here, these two candles, which went about 45%. So it goes to show you in a 45%, it's still a pretty big move, pretty sizable move, but it goes to show you what else could have been done if the stock had moved under, you know, different circumstances. If today we went from three to 19 throughout the intraday time frame, right? So we got, you know, we flushed down, right? Coming into the open. And it was a quick red to green right back up, halted up, and then resumes higher. So here we go. Let's take a quick look. So a couple of seconds to resumption or halted at 793. I'm going to only show you guys the first two to three trades. And of course, you know, for all of those who are MMU students, you guys will be able to review this entire archive in full. It's already uploaded, in fact, since uh, I believe 11 a.m. So here we go, resumption coming up. 93, there it is. So it opens up a little lower and I'm watching here for a break over the highs. It doesn't quite go immediately, so I'm back out instantly. And now I'm waiting. That falls a break through the highs threw me off because resumptions are usually instant. So when it gets back up to eight, I opt not to go long in case we see a false breakout, but it goes and it holds high. Some people might not like this entry here, it is aggressive. This is an aggressive entry, yes. So break of break of eight. I you know under better circumstances, that first entry, we're already making 40 cents, but okay. So here we go, break of eight. And we'll let it play here. There it is. Look at this. It pushes up to 20 by 30, and it's not dropping. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bite higher here and try to get that try to get that higher sell. And we get that. We get a smaller pullback here to 28 area. I'm in at 40 in between the spread. The spreads were 28 by, and this is why it's good to, you know, place limit orders at times. You know, and, uh, you know, I mentioned I was going to let it play, but you know, we'll bring it back one more time. We push. 
We're holding high. I'm in. Gonna get the extra push through 60. There it is. I'm back out. It comes down here. There's 28 by 40. And the moment I try to buy to get that tight spread, I try to get the tight spread and, you know, I'm in at 40. So I essentially gotten filled at the ask price at 40. And now the ask price is extended to 50. So I'm in on the ask here, trying to get in between the spreads between 28 and, and, and uh, you know, and, and, and 40. But in a little higher, can we see the push right back over 50 for highs at 69? There's 69. And I'm selling it right through high of day. And I'm going to stop it here. Uh, you know, of course, uh, the MMU members, you guys can review the entire archive and, and you know, go rewind it and fast forward it as much as you like. All right. So that was the first trade of the day, right? Starting off a little red and then pushing into the green. And so honorable mentions, right? Honorable mentions. P-I-I-I. -I -I. This one moved up a little bit here a little later in the afternoon. I have the 200 EMA mapped out. It held about that level nicely. And so as this one pushed up, you guys know it, the first one minute candle to make the new high right here. I'm long and I'm selling into the highs of this big green candle here. Unfortunately, I did give back a hundred bucks on this backside. Try to buy it in this area here, thinking we would hold. So high of day was 99. Bought $3 area, thinking it was going to hold up. It didn't and flushed right back down. No good. That was P-I-I-I. -I -I. Uh, K-R-B-P. Small green on this one. We did, you know, trading is so volatile at times. We did give back half here, I believe. We caught a beautiful trade making about 50 cents. And then we gave back profits on this red candle. Uh, trying to continue to move, right? So high of day. This one was halted up at 8.25. Resumed lower. So sometimes holding into the halt a little risky. Resumes lower. And dips and surges back up into a halt and opens up and rips. So as we got this little bit of a bottoming wick, same type of setup I'm in. Can we get a break of high of day? It rips up, but then we gave back some profits. It might have been in this green candle actually that we, we might have gave back a little bit. So yeah, moving on, we also had SNTG. Well, not much here to really go over. This stock was pretty impressive in this area, but did not hold up well. Very, very nice move here. You know, it was 64% move, man. But I was not paying attention to my scans at the time. And I missed this beautiful bull flag here. Look at how beautiful this bull flag was. If you capture this bull flag, you caught these nice, nice. I mean, you know, one minute candle makes the new high over 70. Initially, it double tops right here. This could have been a scratch trade. But then once this candle here goes, it rips to 89. You know, small baby pullback in here. And then continues from a low of 85. So from 89, it dips to 85, only a couple of cents. When the pullback like this is this tight, sometimes I don't get a chance to get long. So I'd have to have been in early down here to be confident to buy back. All right. So small four cent drop and then rips to 550. So break of five, break of the whole dollar. And then not only that, break of the half dollar, 592. And rips through this level here at 71 that we had as, as a daily level. And this is where we want to see the stocks hold up, you know, flag sideways and then make a new high again. But unfortunately, you know, that was not the case. Can we get another breakout like that and, and, and you know, keep going again? But one and done. And I dodged the bullet here. Five, no, a thousand shares. There was an 80,000 share seller that caused the stock to drop. Around 570 right here, the seller was bought up. The moment it bought up, I'm long 69 area. And it's like it stalled out immediately. I'm like, nope, I'm out. Half second later, two seconds, let's say a second and a half later, two seconds. Boom, flushes down to 73. I'd have lost a dollar a share, a thousand shares just like that. My beautiful $1,600 day turns into a $600 day. And I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, that, that would have been tough, man. So the risk is real. You know, these days are, are some of the most volatile trading days. And so, you know, it comes down to the experience. You know, not hesitating, uh, being very, you know, firm. And, you know, being courageous, even even if you feel a little bit of fear, not allowing that to alter how you trade, but still taking the A quality entries as you see them, 
because a lot of us can still see the entries. It's a matter of getting over that hump of just fear and hesitation to still buy. Because sometimes you might know, man, this thing can go up 50 cents, but it can also drop down 30, 40 cents. And I might not want to take that risk. You know, so we might want a safer entry, but there are no safe entries here, essentially. Like it's all volatile. And we just have to go for it as best as we can. So coming back to the, to the monitor screen, we had uh, SNTG. Um, well, well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Am I looking at the wrong? Okay, I'm looking at year to date. I'm looking at the wrong. Um, anyhow, that, that, that trade was worth going over, right? So we only made 13 bucks there. AKAN is the last one we'll review here and then we'll wrap it up. AKAN. So I thought this one might have done a little bit better heading into the open. We're in a sideways consolidation and I'm hoping to see the breakout to the upside of the consolidation, right? So, you know, if we extend this trend line here, we're up and down, up, down, and then can we break out and continue? And well, if we do break out, can this resistance right here become support? So if the stock goes like this, can we hold this level to accumulate and then sell into the highs, All right? Uh, that was not the case. It, you know, it broke out by like one penny, false breakout, and then right back down. But on the way up right here, the one minute candle is going to make the new high. We had lows at 28 and then lows at 32. So, you know, not quite a double bottom, but a higher low. And we had the one minute candle make the new high. And, you know, over 50. And as it was surging up right here, we're getting in and scalping the move higher in, out, in, out. And then holding a little longer here for the break. And getting some nice trades after that unfortunately came right back down uh, again we would have wanted to see some beautiful continuation you know candlesticks like this like this and then you know even if it went up some more you get that pullback you want to hold this area here hold it. even if it comes down below for a little bit you know you hold this area and then boom you start to get the red to green into the moon yeah guys that was essentially the day so you know locking it in 1600 uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button once again if you are interested in uh becoming a member uh, use code manifest for 50 percent off and i'll catch you guys later it's been rt and i am of course signing out